Do you know why people like salsa? Because they like to say salsa. Welcome back to The Average Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make my homemade salsa with a plethora of ingredients. Jamie, do the flyover. So we got banana peppers, we got red peppers, we got orange peppers, we got yellow peppers, cilantro, garden fresh tomatoes, jalapenos, vinegar, garlic, onions, it never ends. Spice blend. So, Jamie, how long do you think it's gonna take the Brayville to process all those tomatoes? 41 seconds. I'm gonna guess my lucky number 32 seconds. So, let's get started. So these are just Roma tomatoes from my garden. So I'm just gonna lop the top off here and fill up our little chute. And the cool thing about this machine is you can start and pause it at any point and it just keeps a running time. So just figured it'd be fun to do a little competition with, uh, with Jamie there. So you said 41? Yep. Okay, I'm going with 32. It'll so be 41. There's how many in there? Two, four, six, seven small Romas. Seven seconds. So if you don't have access to Roma tomatoes, hothouse, any type of tomatoes do, I really like uh, cooking with Roma tomato. So they're just in this little bit of a water bath because they were just picked from the garden just to make sure that they're clean. Number two. 13 seconds on the dial so far. I don't even think it's gonna be 32. It's gonna be lower than that. All right, fourth plunge, third plunge. 19 seconds so far total. Uh, they probably won't all fit, we'll do another one. Thirty-five seconds. Okay, everything's prepped now. Tomatoes are good to go. We're gonna take those off of here. We're gonna dump them into our cast iron pot. Give it a little shaky shake. And then we're gonna start adding in some of our ingredients. So we've got some white and apple cider vinegar. We've got a huge spice blend here that you can see. All the description, all the ingredients of everything is gonna be in the description. So you don't have to worry about that. Got a good amount of onion, a bunch of peppers, some jalapenos, some fresh garlic, believe it or not, a little bit of sugar, some tomato paste, and lastly, I've got some banana peppers here that I'm gonna actually use this little machine to kind of break these down a bit. kind of breaks them out down into uh, smaller, more manageable size pieces. So that's our mix. So what we're gonna do is get that on the uh, stove and start to warm it up and just sort of bring it to a simmer and then we're gonna can it. I just finished prepping my jars with boiling water. They're sanitized, ready to go. My salsa is off the stove, got it to a light simmer, started to cook down. So what I'm gonna do is I got some fresh cilantro here. I'm gonna put a pretty good sized pinch in each jar before I start. And the reason I do this this way is, if you put that cilantro in before you start cooking it, it's just gonna, the texture is gonna get kind of weird and it almost becomes insignificant in your salsa. And we definitely want that little punch of cilantro that gives you that kind of like Spanish, kind of Mexican taste of salsa, so. And I'm also gonna put in maybe half a teaspoon of lime juice in the bottom as well and that'll help give you some freshness in your salsa. So, I'm gonna start out here and just start ladling these in. I'm gonna bring these a little closer so I don't make a mess. Then I'll start ladling in our salsa. So thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for the next one. It's gonna be great. Don't forget to subscribe, notification bell, give us a like. See you on the next one.